one and all. Welcome back to Under the Hood of Python, a guide for complete beginners. In this session, we are going to take a look at a simple Python example to figure out what's the difference between a Python's grammatical error or a syntax error and Python's execution error or a runtime error. Once again, do not worry about how to write the code. We will take a deeper understanding of quotes and the objective of it later. Our focus currently is to understand and verify the execution flow. Okay, here is our Python code. Pause the video for a moment, take a look at the code and think of what could be the result. Here it is. We see a syntax error for this code as the string literal in the print statement is not enclosed with ending double quotes. Okay, let's have a look at another example of similar kind here. Point of caution here is the function foo underscore sample is never defined earlier in our program. So pause the video lecture again for a moment Take a look at the code and think of what the result could be. Here is our output response. We are going to see I am inside if block as the output print statement. Okay, that's fair enough. Now let's make a small change to the existing code and present you back. Here we go. Again, the point of caution here is function foo underscore sample is never defined earlier in our program. Pause the video lecture again for a few seconds. Take a look at it. Take a look at the entire code and think of what the result could be. Here is the program's output. We are going to witness an error stating foo underscore sample is not defined. So with the three examples we saw, what are the different um, attributes which were presented in the program? What are the different understandings we had? Here are a few points of inference. At the first level, Python interprets the instructions one after the other. The second point is the complete Python code is compiled and verified for right Python grammar and syntax during the compilation phase. As we saw in the first example, we got an error of unterminated string literal. If you see the code very keen, the code which threw a syntax error is part of the else statement, which is never picked up by the interpreter. So independent of whether the interpreter picks up that statement or not, the compiler compiles the entire code, looks for a right grammar and then puts it into the interpreter. Okay. The third point is, once the compilation of the program is successful, the Python interpreter interprets the execution sequentially based on the bytecode. As we saw in our example too, the if statement got evaluated to true, boolean value true, and it made sure that the Python program never entered into the else block. And that's the reason we did not face the error of foo underscore sample not being defined in the program. Whereas in the very next, next example, in which case the if statement evaluated to false, we got into an error of foo underscore sample not being defined because the interpreter picked up the block of statements inside else statement. Okay, so here are the two main inference out of these. The first is the Python grammar checks are done during the compilation. Second is the semantic checks, for example, whether the function is defined or not. Right number of arguments have been passed to a function call or not. These kind of checks are verified only if the Python instructions are picked up by the interpreter during the runtime. And that's the reason the first or the latter set of errors which are encountered by the Python are termed as syntax error or grammatical check error. The second kind of error are termed as runtime error. Okay, with this takeaway, let us wind up this short lecture by having a quick recap of this section. First of all, we try to understand what do we mean by syntax error and which part of the execution is responsible for it. We realize that syntax error is mostly seen during the compilation phase, which tries to look at the Python's grammar and verifies whether it's a valid Python code or not. Followingly, we took a look at what do we mean by runtime error? How is it handled by the interpreter during the execution? Okay, that's it for this lecture. Up next, we are going to take a look at how do we install and set up Python environment. Till then, take care of yourself. Have a great day. See you in the next lecture.